Hello friends, welcome to Civil Engineering Exam. So today we are going to see the problem related with uh, engineering mechanics in the topic of magnitude and direction of the resultant force. So the question is the force 20 Newton, 30 Newton, 40 Newton, 50 Newton and 60 Newton are acting at one of the angular points of regular hexagon. So towards the other five angular points taken in order find the magnitude and direction of the resultant force so we have to find out the direction and resultant force so first thing we have to draw on the diagram so that is a uh, a to b that is a uh, 20 newton it formed the hexagon so every force having the 30 degree angle so uh, a to b is uh, 20 newton and uh, a to c is 30 newton and uh, a to d is 40 newton and a to e is uh, 50 newton and a to f is uh, 60 newton so it formed the hexagon in every uh, 30 degrees so we connect all the forces a b c d e f and a so it formed the hexagon so we have to find out the resultant force so the formula is uh, r is equal to uh, root of uh, summation of horizontal force square plus uh, summation of vertical force square so we have to find out the summation of h and summation of v so now uh, the resolving all the forces horizontally along a b uh, sigma h is equal to 20 cos theta so that is a uh, cos uh, 0 degree because uh, a to b is uh, 0 degree so now uh, 0 degree plus uh, a to z is uh, having the 30 degree angle so so 30 into cos 30 degree plus uh, 40 having the uh, angle of uh, 60 degree so 40 cos 60 plus 50 cos 90 likewise 60 cos 120 degree newton so now solving this equation so 20 into 1 and 30 into the cos 30 values uh, 0. Uh, 866 and uh, 40 into cos 60 value is 0 0.5 and 50 into cos 90 value is 0 and uh, 60 into cos 120 value is minus uh, 0.5 so now uh, we got the answer of sigma h is equal to 36 newton so likewise we are resolving the forces uh, vertically uh, at the right angle of ab so the summation of vertical force equal to 20 sin th 0 degree plus 30 sin 30 degree plus uh, 40 sin 60 degree plus 50 sin 90 degree plus uh, 60 sin 120 degree so solving this equation so 20 into sin 0 is uh, uh, 0 plus sin 30 is uh, 0 0.5 and uh, sin 60 is 0 0.866 and uh, sin 90 is 1 and uh, sin 120 is 0 0.866 so we are solving this uh, we got the value of 151.6 newton so we already know the formula of magnitude r is equal to root of sigma h square plus sigma v square so now uh, sigma h square is equal to uh, 36 square plus uh, sigma v is equal to 151.6 square so solving this we got a 155.8 newton so now direction of resultant force we know uh, theta is the angle which resultant force makes the horizontal so tan theta is equal to sigma v divided by sigma h so sigma value v value is uh, 151.6 and sigma h is 36 so we got the value of 4.211 uh, theta is equal to 76.6 degree both the values uh, are positive direction so the resultant lies between 0 to 90 degree so that's why uh, theta is equal to 76.6 degree so this is the method we can find out the magnitude and uh, direction of the resultant force uh, again we will see next video thank you